Hey guys, really quick before we get into the video, I just want to say you guys know I make funny videos and I like to make spiritual videos. Um, so I like incorporating the two together sometimes and that's kind of what this is. I know some of you clicked on this video to see a funny video. I know some of you clicked on this video to see a spiritual video and I know some of you clicked on the video to see both. Um, you will get all of that in this video. At some point in this video, I do sit down and talk about what really happened in the labyrinth and um, it's pretty interesting. So put your watching hat on and get ready. Hey guys, we are doing spiritual stuff in this video. We really are, but there are just a few things I need to get off my chest. I know I am in the same hat I was in in the last video and another black t-shirt because I own a bunch of them, but it is 93 degrees out and today's video is gonna be outside. I know other YouTubers are like, oh, let me be cute and wear this leather jacket in 88 degree weather. No, I'm not gonna do that. Literally OOTD right now, I'm wearing sneakers from like Payless. These, which quick story time, I don't know if you guys could see this hole right here, but I was in the car about a year ago and the sun literally burnt a hole through them, like through the window, it magnified the sun and my pants caught fire. Like while I was just innocently sitting in my car. And that's all you're getting today. I was supposed to get my eyebrows done, but nope. So I'm in the car and really quick, I just had to get my eyebrows done. Don't they look good? Anyway, I am here with Mama TMI. Hi. You always do the fake, hi. Just come in and be normal. Okay. I'm here with Mama TMI. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Today we are talking labyrinths, or labyrinths, I don't really know. Labyrinth? Is that how you say it? I don't know. It sounds like labia. As you guys know, I don't really know much about like the spiritual stuff, and I, I try, I well, really Libya try for you. a part of the vagina. Right. I try to like keep up with the spiritual stuff, and you know, with Haley and Loie, and I go places with them, and I'm trying, I'm learning with you guys. Today I wanted to go try to find a labyrinth in my area and try to see what they're all about. Really quick, I just have some quick things about a labyrinth in case you have no idea what I'm talking about. I'll insert a picture. But I found like this article on a labyrinth which is basically explaining the symbolic meaning of a labyrinth. Labyrinths have been used for ages and Native Americans used a labyrinth as a symbol that represents birth, rebirth, and transition. Libya, from one world to the next. Isn't that a game? Labyrinth. On a philosophical level, the symbolic meaning of a labyrinth is as complex as the sim symbol itself. With many twists and turns, the labyrinth does not share its secrets easily. So, the labyrinth deals with the passage of time, which you love time travel. Oh, I do love time travel. Into the past, though, not the future. Spiritual growth, enlightenment, connection to source, rebirth, resurrection, spiritual path, and initiation. Okay, I'm not gonna keep reading, but basically you get the point. Um, it's to really reach your inner core, your inner spirit. What do you like, make a freaking wish and it happens? I don't know. Maybe I'll be skinny after we walk this well, labyrinth. Like, there are places like that around here where we live where you just... Yeah, that's where we're going. Um, apparently there's a labyrinth around here, like in the woods somewhere. We're gonna try to find it. Oh, I gotta go in the woods? Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna go try to find a labyrinth. We're gonna... I have another thing where um, it tells you exactly like what to focus on and what to do at the labyrinth. We're gonna go test it out, see if we see if we feel spiritual and one with mother nature at all. Be with mother, at least. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, we'll go get on the road that, ooh, have I been this exposed the whole time? We are here where the supposed labyrinth is. Let's get a little OOTD action. OOTD. Outfit of the day. Oh, she's an American girl. Some guys are gonna get off to your feet. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Supposedly the labyrinth is in those woods somewhere, so we're gonna have to go trek through those. Good thing my mom wore her flip-flops. What are we doing here? Like, can I make a wish? I wish my nose would be smaller. And I want to lose weight. So like, it's supposed to, it's to like get in touch with like your inner core, and like it's almost like a vision board to put it out into the universe. Spiritual channeling the spirits. I don't know, honestly. I have a surprise coming for you guys, uh, which you'll find out next week. And that's kind of the reason why I'm bringing you to like Mary's grave and here and like all these places around here because I'm gonna be coming back. We'll get more into that when you guys find out the surprise. And I just kind of want to do a little introduction for all these places before I really dive in. Today is the labyrinth in Stony Brook, New York. Somewhere in there if we find it. Hello. Hi. He wants me. But hopefully this labyrinth will <laughs> make me skinny. So see you there. So we were literally just looking down here and there were literally huge bubbles. What is down there? Remember when you used to blow bubbles when you were little, Andrew? Yeah, I used to love that. He's back in town. He's, uh, he's been looking <laughs> It's literally like 100 degrees and we are in the middle of the forest. I can't. Hope I don't have any ticks. Mom, you were never born with tits. <laughs> Mom, what are you doing? She's literally 70 years old going down the stairs. I can't believe you're almost 70.
There's Shrek. I found Shrek. No, I, I'm calling you Shrek. We are literally in the middle of nowhere, and I just wish we could find a sign that we were close. Left my joke. So this is the labyrinth, and as you can see, it's sort of like a pathway, and there are specific things you need to do in order for it to work, which I found a list of everything you need to do in the correct order, what you need to focus on, everything you need to do. I'm gonna read that to you guys, and then me and my mom are gonna try out the labyrinth and see if we feel any type of way. Maybe I'll be skinny, who knows? Maybe your nose will finally be small for once. Maybe. Literally, can you focus for one second in your entire life? What did I do? What do you mean? I am sweating, I'm standing in the middle of the labyrinth and I'm gonna read the seven steps you need to do in a labyrinth and then we're gonna try it out. And yeah. Step one, stand in front of the entrance to the labyrinth and state your intention as clearly as possible. I want to be skinny. AKA whatever you want or whatever problem you need a solution to, state that before you start walking the labyrinth. Step two. Center yourself by taking a couple of deep breaths. This is important because doing this, you instruct your subconscious and all other parts of yourself. This is something I do all the time because I am always out of breath anyway, so this was really easy for me. Three, acknowledge your coming meditative, 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 or spiritual journey within the labyrinth. You may also say a short prayer or smudge yourself depending on which faith you adhere to. Smudge yourself? Does that mean like shit yourself? I'm confused. As you can see, this one just confused me. Like I didn't get it at all. Anyway, moving on. Step four is begin your walk. The first step sets the pace for your walk. Okay, I must have looked over that part when I actually did the walk. Step five, continue to walk. Oh my God, that's kind of like a GPS when they're like continue on the current road. Like, yeah, I know, bitch. Step six, pause on reaching the center. You may stop here for a while. Sit or lay down if you feel like it and meditate or reflect. The main thing is to let yourself surrender totally to the inner process. It feels so good to have all the time you need. Step seven, simply walk out. When you are ready, just walk out. Accept the insights and gifts you may have received. Okay, so we just finished. Mom, do I look any skinnier? Just as much as my nose looks smaller. Oh boy. Okay, so we are back in the car from the labyrinth, and obviously we were kidding around, like what you guys saw, we were messing around and stuff, but off camera, me and my mom really did do the labyrinth, and we followed all the steps just as we should have. Obviously, you know, every family has their things and their wishes that not everybody needs to know, so that's why we did it uh, off camera, and we did like the, you know, messing around one on camera. We really did do it. We focused on what we wanted and put it out there into the universe, and we're channeling the spirits or whatever. I'm still honestly kind of confused on exactly what it is, but I want to bring Haley there. I know she's like very spiritual. Maybe she could teach me a thing or two. It really did feel spiritual. I liked it. Yeah. I mean, I think anything in nature, anything in the middle of a forest that looks beautiful like that, when you're just focusing and meditating and relaxing, you're going to feel spiritual. You're going to feel some sort of connection to energy and just spirits and whatever. So obviously, honestly, my biggest wish would be to be skinny, <laughs> but obviously that's not what I was thinking as I was really walking it. And only time will tell really. We'll see if, if it works. Um, I think it's kind of like a real life vision board. We'll that's see. that's kind of how I'm interpreting it and yeah. taking it like a real life vision board. It really was really relaxing. It's some place I would love to go back to and just hang out and sit down. That's what I was just gonna say. Like I think we should definitely go back there and just keep on doing it and really putting good energy out there and absorbing the good energy mm -hmm. from nature or whatever it may be. I don't know much, but um, whenever Haley does come visit me, I do want to go back there and bring her. As I said, I have a surprise for you guys next week, and yeah, hopefully we'll uh, figure more stuff out with that. If you guys did like this video, don't, don't forget, forget to give, to give it, it a big thumbs up. Oh, do it. If you did like this video, give no, it. No, that's fake. Okay. Do you if you did like, okay. You're not on a, you're not selling like the ShamWow. If you did like this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and follow Andrew on all his social media down below. There you go, that was, that was better. Follow my mom on her Twitter. It's gonna be linked down below. She's always retweeting and answering everybody and honestly saying a lot of stuff that doesn't make sense. I definitely will always answer anybody who talks to me. If 
she's so humble. I am. I really am. As my mom said, don't forget to like this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and comment down below if you've ever been to a labyrinth or maybe look up one in your area and try to go there. Until next week. I'll see you next week. No. What is it? Ugh. Until next week, we will see you guys next week. Okay. Bye. Okay, ready? That was it. I want to do it. You're done. Until next week, we will see you next week. Bye. Check it out.